On average, the child must disclose the story 13 times to 13 different people if they are not seen at a CAC. I want you to think about one of the worst things that has ever happened to you. I want you to start from the very beginning to the very end and do not leave out any details. Now tell that story again. It's worse when he drinks. And again. Sometimes we try to hide it. Over and over. I do want to protect my brother. Can you even imagine? Yes. That is a child reality. Imagine going back to that place every single time someone asks you about it, and you have to describe it in as much detail as possible. Remember not to forget anything or make any mistakes. And at the end of it all, hope that they believe you. Why do we have to keep saying this? Do you not believe me? Family advocate is the first person a family meets at the center, greeting and helping them get settled into the comfortable living room. The advocate speaks with the child and their family about the services at the PCAC, preparing them for their visit, and helping ensure that they know this is a safe place to share their experience. A family advocate spends time listening to the family's needs, often allowing them to feel heard in a system where it's easy to feel like simply another number. Family advocates must remain open-minded and adapt to each family's unique situation to help guide them through the investigative process and ensure that they have the proper resources to cope with and heal from the struggles of child abuse, even creating a space to relax and find peace from the chaos of their situation. All right, boys, let's go talk. Right this way. Forensic interviewers are neutral specially trained individuals who talk to children about abuse. Forensic interviews are observed by officials from investigative agencies and are audio and video recorded so a child does not have to tell their story over and over again. The backbone of the child advocacy model is a multidisciplinary team also referred to as the MDT. This is a team of passionate professionals who work tirelessly to ensure that all abused children are heard and supported. These disciplines include law enforcement, child protective services, medical, mental health, advocacy, forensic interviewers, and prosecution. By working closely together, this team is able to share information quickly and communicate effectively. The goal of the MDT is to reduce the trauma a child faces when their abuse comes to light. By working as a team, services are not duplicated all of the involved agencies talk to each other so that the child doesn't have to tell their story over and over again. He was just trying to protect me. We do not forget that the caregiver has experienced trauma as well, which is why we provide an on-site mental health professional. Families benefit from discussing their reactions and experiences and family issues in a confidential therapeutic setting which provides a space for healing and their future. As a forensic interviewer, it is my duty to help carry the weight of a child's trauma. I'm grateful to be a trusted individual for children, knowing that they feel safe enough to talk to me about such difficult and traumatic experiences. My hope is that children leave an interview feeling relieved, knowing that they were able to tell their story and knowing that they have a team of individuals who support them, because all children deserve to have a childhood. Hey. Hi. Hi. So what happens next? They get to be kids again. Thank you. Thanks. We are here to empower children and strengthen families by reducing trauma and restoring hope.